Hi everybody, we're here at John Sadler's Auto Repair and we have a 2005 Ford Explorer Sport track with a 4.0. Customer complaint, driving along, truck's running fine. All of a sudden it starts sputtering, shaking, loses a lot of power, won't get out of its own way. Check engine light comes on. Has it towed in this morning, there's no codes, it has a loss of power, it has a rough idle. So, we hook up the scan tool and we look at the fuel pressure and I don't know if we can see it on here or not, but the fuel pressure is supposed to be 60 to 65 and we have 49.61. So we're at a minimum of 10 PSI low on fuel pressure. Then I went to the long-term fuel trim is negative five and negative four and it stays that way. So it's running rich. One of the things that make a vehicle run rich is if it has low fuel volume. So if we have low pressure, we're obviously gonna have low volume. Then we put a current ramp on the scope pattern of the, and I'll show you what the pattern's supposed to look like. Here's a normal pattern of the fuel pump functioning properly. Now if you watch this pattern, it's fairly normal, then you'll start to see that spike jump up. It's not supposed to have that extra spike jumping up there. So that means the armature that spins around on that little electric pump, one of those points on that armature is bad. It's got, it's got a fault in it. So we have 10 pounds too low of fuel pressure. We have negative fuel trim, so that's a sign of low volume. Then we have the current ramping, and we have this extra little spike. We're not supposed to have that spike right there. We're supposed to just have this normal picture, just like this. So every time we have that spike there, so we have a we have a electrical malfunction, the fuel pump is failing on this vehicle, and that's why it has the problem that it has. And now I have the facts to back it up and show the customer. A little tip from John Sadler's. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.